Glad to see you. <laughs> What's going on? Josie, uh, she went into premature labor. But they can stop it, right? No, I already asked about that. It's too late. So you mean she's having a baby? But she, she can't have it now. It's too soon. All we can do is pray for the best. No, 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 no. It's too soon. It's too soon. Not yet. You have to do something. We're doing everything. Oh, okay. God, it hurts. It hurts so much. Oh, oh, I can't. I can't. I can't do this. Oh, Don't push yet. I Don't push. push yet. Pan oh. instead. Pan. You can do it. That's good. I can't. I can't. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. You can, Josie. You're doing fine. All right. She's pounding. We're all set over here. Okay, Josie. Next time you feel like you have to push, I want you to go with it, okay? Push with everything you got. Gary. Gary is waiting right outside. Okay, Josie, whenever you're ready, come on, breathe and push. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. It's all Sorry. Right. Hi. What happened? I'm helping. Uh, just a little collision. Everything's okay. Here, I got that. Thanks. Sorry. Just, Sir? David stopped by for a few minutes and he has a headache, so I just wanted to get him some. David? Aspirin. David Holiday. Oh, oh, good. Yeah. I get to meet this guy finally. But how are you? I'm fine. Okay, maybe I'm not fine, but unless you can do something about the feeling that you've had your heart ripped out. Cameron left here a few minutes ago. Did you talk to him? Uh-huh. Good. Yeah. Yeah, it was all very neat and tidy. I gave him his engagement ring back. So, fresh start. No evidence, no proof. It's almost as if he never existed. Except for the hole in your heart. He's leaving town, so I guess that too shall pass. You're just gonna let him go like that? Matt, I don't think you were one to be lecturing me on relationships. No, even if I admit I was hypnotized when I married Lila? What? Are you sure of that? What happened? Yeah, well, that trip to Lumina and uh, knock on the head. Who did that to no, you? No, I fell. I, Are you sure? Uh, yeah, I feel better. Actually, I feel better than I have in a long time. Bottom line is that Stark rearranged my life. What happened to me, I think happened to you and Cameron. Now, Matt, don't be ridiculous. Well, wait you don't... a minute. Maybe he isn't being ridiculous. Maybe you broke off that relationship too early, do you think? No, Mom, I don't think that I did. Believe me. What's going on between Cameron and me is a private matter, and I want to try to keep it that right, way. We're not trying to upset you, darling. We're just confused. Well, I'm confused, too. But there's one thing I can tell you is Jordan Stark has nothing to do with Cameron and me.
should be. Yesterday. This is not possible. It can't be. This is not possible. Here. Don't be frightened. I don't believe we're acquainted, are we? Well, then, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Miss Kittredge. Amelie Kittredge. I have an appointment with your father. I didn't mean to disturb you. Oh, no, not at all. Forgive me. I'll wait elsewhere today. Oh, no, don't go, Mr. Stark. You, you know me? Well, my father has told me very much of your scientific theories, but I would like to get to know more. You know, until now, I never realized how difficult it was to talk to the back of a gentleman's head. Mr. Stark. There. Happy now? And if my face gives you nightmares, the fault lies with you. Looking at the face of Mr. Jordan Stark, a man that I would very much like to know. Follow me. your garden. It's where we met for the first time. And it's where we shall meet again. The gateway. I found it. I finally found it. After all this time. And soon. Very soon, my love, I'll find you too. You're here. I can feel you. It took me so long, I kind of ran into him. Oh, God, you look awful. Ah, oh, but that was meant to be a compliment. No, 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 I just mean you look like you have a migraine or you're coming down with something terrible. Well, actually, I think I've come up with something extraordinary. Come again? Something you've been waiting for all your life. I promised her I wouldn't let her do this alone. She knows that you're right out here. But it's not good enough, man. Come on. Listen to me. If they need a little room in there to work a miracle, give them all the room that they need. Okay, now I need you to pull it together. You gotta be strong. You gotta be strong for Josie and for the baby. You're right. You're right. I just wish they'd tell me something. I'm glad you're here, though, man. 
What else would I do? What's going on? How's, how's my wife? Josie's Come stable. On. And what about the... It's a boy. He's breathing and he has a good heart rate, Gary, but he's very small. They're taking him to neonatal ICU. I'm gonna go see my son. You take care of Josie, huh? Tell her I love her. Yeah. to that baby, I'll never forgive you. Hey, listen to me. Never. Listen to me. Nothing's gonna happen to that baby. Okay? Okay? You know how I know? That baby's a Sinclair. And there's one thing about a Sinclair and that was stubborn as hell. As soon as you think the chips are down, as so you think it's time to throw in the towel, that's when we come out swinging. Okay? Now, he's gonna be a fighter. I know that. And he's gonna pull through this. But I need you to be strong. And he needs you to be strong, too. It's gonna be fine. Stop this now. We're gonna get through this together. I don't. Oh, please, God, please. Don't let our baby pay for what we did. Garrett, Garrett. How is she? I have a son. The baby? And instead of seeing my newborn son come into this world, I had to stay out here not knowing what the hell was going on. Have you seen the baby? Yeah, he'd, uh, he'd fit in my hand. But I couldn't see him past all those tubes and machines they got him plugged into. Oh, Gary, oh. I am so sorry. But Josie going into premature labor was, was not my fault. If it weren't for you, Josie would be at home right now taking care of herself instead of being in some dock with you. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have to look at my newborn son fighting for his life. Now, what the hell was so urgent that you had to meet her tonight? Ow, ow. Are you sure you fell? Yeah, I fell and I hit my head, but I, I, I feel better than I have in a long time. Well, that's even more peculiar. Do you think we should take you to a doctor? No, my mind is clear. Listen, how did I seem before? Um, very single-minded about the baby and about Lila. So you really think you, you were hypnotized? Yeah. Well, after one visit to Starks, I married a woman I wasn't in love with. What else could it be? Well, what are you going to do about Lila and Cass? I told Lila that she can do whatever she wants. Have a divorce or an annulment. What about the baby? Both Lila and Jasmine are going to stay here until we know Stark's no longer a threat. Besides, I couldn't live without my little girl. Good. Never doubted your feelings for that baby? What is it? What does Stark want? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Just possibly it's time for me to go back and have another sculpture session. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Excuse me? You're not going to Lumina. There's no way I'm letting you go back there. Just go for a walk with me. I promise I'll explain everything. I really feel like going for a walk right now, David. Um... Something happened when you went inside the house. Do you remember Matt talking about that Jordan Stark? In the chapel? Yeah? 
Well, promise me you're not going to think that he's nuts. I couldn't possibly. Matt seems to think that Jordan Stark hypnotized him into marrying his wife. Hypnotized him into marrying Lila? Yes. So now, Matthew and my mother have Jordan Stark on the brain, and they are acting as if he had something to do with Cameron and me. Wow. Well, I don't know this Stark guy, but it sounds to me as if you broke off the wedding, and they can't stand not knowing why. Oh, I can't tell them. I can't tell anyone. I find this whole idea of public disclosure of private thoughts and feelings overrated <laughs> and often damaging. Me too. <laughs> I mean, whatever happened to good old-fashioned repression, all this <laughs> Freudian nonsense, a little good old-fashioned down-home repression. Here, here. <laughs> You're an old-fashioned guy, aren't you? Oh. Sometimes I feel out of place and time. You know, I... I long for a period in history when things... moved a little slower. Lasted a little longer. Meant more. And what about you, Amanda? I sense that underneath that... sophisticated, seen-it-all done it all exterior lies a, well, I don't know, a good old-fashioned girl. Oh, me without email or indoor plumbing? I, I don't know. Uh, the Y2K has me pretty terrified, so I, I don't think I would do all that well in that time. No, I think you'd fit right in. Imagine it. Put yourself in that time. Picture yourself. Spending your mornings at your desk, reading, answering correspondence, tending to the business of the day. Then later, after tea, you go outside, close your eyes, you go outside, and you see a path. Down that path, you escape. You escape into a beautiful English garden. Beautiful. With flowers of every kind, sublime colors and scents. You're safe and worry free. A sense of happiness as you've never felt before surrounds you. I need that. And go there. Go there, Amanda. You're in that garden. Tell me, what do you see? You just gotta help me make sense of this. Now, Josie was gonna go on maternity leave. She was very happy about leaving work. All she wanted to do was concentrate on being a mommy. So why would she risk our baby's life to go to some dock? It had to have been important, Cindy. All I can tell you is that I asked Josie to meet me. W were you covering up for Grant? What no! Was I told you, I want to help nail him. Then why the ducks? What do you think Grant would do if he knew that I was cooperating with the police? And you know Josie, she would do anything to get Grant. Well, that sounds like Josie, all right. Gary, if I had known that there was any real danger, I... I am so sorry. Please don't hate me. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have you as a friend. I'll talk to you later. If you think you can stop me from pursuing Stark, then you have hit your head harder than you think. Mom, don't go to Lumina, please. I'm going to be fine. Did, you told me yourself it could be dangerous. I have gone over there repeatedly. Nothing has happened Listen, to me. Listen, he knows I'm on to him. You don't know what you could be walking into. Which is why I'll watch him like a hawk. I know what he's capable of, and I just don't think I'm susceptible. I don't think we've even scratched the surface of this insanity. I appreciate your being protective, but this is my family we're talking about. Which is exactly why you shouldn't put yourself in danger. Well, what do you want me to do? Just sit here and let him manipulate any other member of his family that he cares to? What do you think he's up to? I haven't a clue, but I plan to find out before he harms anybody else around here. 
What do you see? Nothing. I, I didn't see a thing. I'm sorry. Visualization is a very important part of the relaxation process. No, maybe it was the, the botanicals. The stuff. I've never been one much for bulbs and mulch and all that kind of thing. Listen, I bet you'll just find something much more appealing this Baby, time. I really don't have a heart for this today. But you must. The universe demands it. Oh, well, the universe is just going to have to have to wait. I, I don't feel much like exploring my heart or my head or anything else tonight. But, but that's the beauty of it. All you have to do is put yourself in my hands and you will feel like a new woman. Money back guarantee. You drive a hard bargain. Then, uh, then you'll stay? Um, I I'll, I'll take a rain check. Okay, um, it's, it's actually freezing out here. I don't know what I was thinking, but thank you for coming by. Amanda, don't go. Not yet. There's, some, there's something I really need for you to see. Oh, well, some other time, actually. Just right now, I, I'm, all of a sudden, I'm really beat, and... Amanda, stop resisting. Come with me, please. David, I said no. I am so sorry. What is wrong never... with you? My goodness, profuse apologies. I, I am sorry beyond words. I, I didn't... Are you all right? I'm fine. Please. Tell me, I didn't cause you any harm. No permanent damage. I'm transported by joy again. You know, I really need to, I need to watch that. I forget not everyone is enthusiastic about nature as I am. What was so important that you wanted to show me? Rock formations. I found some really... I found some really interesting rock formations on your property, and I've always been a bit of a geode hunter, fossil finder, and... I'd really, I'd really like to show them to you. You've seen one geode, you've seen them all, huh? I'm sorry. Thank you for trying to lift my spirits. Some other time? Tout est possible. Where did I get that? Tout est possible? Um, go, I'll, I'll be in touch. And, and I, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll see myself out. Unbelievable luck with my primrose. And this is mascara right here. An anemone. And these were these are my favorite. Stephanotis floribona. So your interest in flowers is more than aesthetic. Oh. <laughs> Botany, horticulture, floriculture. A devotee of Joseph Priestley's theories. I find it all just fascinating. I mean. Imagining how connected we are, every living thing. We exhale and they inhale. 
It's this alluring, eternal dance of life. I love being in this garden. It's like watching life renew itself. Look! There's a fairy ring. A lady of science takes an interest in magic and fairy tales? It's a very mystical, magical place, my garden. To they proceed. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. My mother's French and it slips. He must think me horribly pretentious. No. Anything but. I should go. Wouldn't do to keep Dr. Kittredge waiting. Without his sponsorship and funding, I'll never finish my research. Well, I hope you get what you came for, Mr. Stark. I trust we'll meet again. I would like to hear more of your work. Well, perhaps. Perhaps next time. Good, I look forward to it. Until next time, then. Soon, Amelie. Free your soul from Amanda. We'll be together soon, my love. And this time, for all time. Forever. Getting somewhere? Let go. What'd you come here for? Do more damage? Wreck a few more lives? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I know. I know everything. I know how you know about the baby. I know how you threatened Josie, told her you were gonna tell Gary. That's why she was with you on the docks today, isn't it? Josie is a big girl. She makes her own decisions. You cannot pin this one on me. So what are you hanging around here for? To wreck their marriage? To make Gary's life miserable? Gary is my friend. He has done more for me than everyone in this city put together. Hmm. So is this how you repay your friends? You stick your neck out for a politician who doesn't give a damn whether you live or die? What kind of sick, demented person are you? What kind of sick, demented brother are you? You kill your father, you sleep with your brother's wife, you knock her up and help her keep it a secret. Don't you dare moralize to me. Because when it comes to let he who is without sin, yada, 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 I think we're at a nasty standoff. Oh, I know what I've done wrong. And God knows I'm not proud of it. But we never meant to hurt Gary, and you know that. So I don't understand. Why are you trying to punish him more? Huh? Hasn't he had enough? Excuse me, Doc. Uh, the baby, huh? From Gary's brother, Ruff. Is the baby all right? Let me talk to the parents first. I'll let them tell you. I'm not trying to... I never, I never imagined this. Gary is my friend, and he knows that in my heart I am a good person. And I haven't told him anything, I swear. But if you don't watch how you talk to me, I will. You get the hell out of here. You get the hell out of here before I do something. I'm not going to be sorry to do. 